everyone, Meg here from IT Stamping and today we're gonna to be making this adorable little birthday card. It's gonna to go together so quickly. But first, let's go ahead and review our supplies. We're gonna need our Big Shot die cutting machine and we wanna make sure that we have our thin die adapter as well as our regular platform for that. To go along with it, we need our die and I chose the Happy Birthday Thinlet and then an embossing folder and I'm going with Softly Falling. Now Softly Falling is one that a lot of people think you can just use for winter time for snow, but we're gonna use it on a birthday card today. Then we're gonna need two different colors of cardstock. I've got Berry Burst that's gonna be four inches by five and a quarter inches. Then I have an extra piece of Whisper White and it just needs to be big enough for your die. And then I have our card base which is Whisper White four and a quarter by 11 inches and I scored it at five and a half. We're gonna need your ribbon and I am going with the Lemon Lime ribbon and then our various adhesives. I'm gonna go ahead and use liquid glue with the silicone mat along with the Stampin' Sponge, but you don't have to, you can just use regular glue. It's just gonna make it go a little bit faster. And then some glue dots for our ribbon and our scissors. So let's go ahead and start with our die cutting. So we just need to line up our thinlet onto our white cardstock and zip this on through the Big Shot. And then that is going to give us our sentiment for our card and I can use my brush to pop this out or I can just go ahead and peel it out with my fingers. There we go. Okay, so we have that and then next we're going to want to move our thin die adapter out of the way. We're gonna bring in that berry burst and our softly falling embossing folder. Get this lined up. And then we're just gonna run it back on through the big shot. I love having supplies that you can use in more than one way. And this softly falling one is definitely one that fits the bill. We open this up, we have that fabulous texture there. So it definitely can be snow, but it can also be whatever else you want. Okay, now we are done with the big shot. I'm gonna get this moved out of the way and we're ready to assemble. When I use the intricate cut dies, I like to use a silicone mat with some liquid glue and a little stampin' sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on that mat and then my sponge just kinda goes back and forth and back and forth. And then I'm able to get even coverage on the back of my intricate cut die without having to trace all around it with my glue. Then I'm gonna take this, flip it over, and we're gonna put it in place on our card. And we'll let that get all nice and dry and happy. Okay, we're done with our liquid glue. Now we're ready to bring in our ribbon. So I'm just gonna trim this to the length that I want. Grab some glue dots. We're gonna kiss these onto our ribbon. Mwah! Mwah! Peel those off. And then this is just gonna wrap around and secure to the back side. Then we can take this entire layer and attach it onto our card front. Then we take more of our ribbon. Just gonna slide it underneath. And for this card, I'm just gonna do a single knot. This is not a real slippery ribbon. It's got some grip to it. So tying a single knot is not gonna be a problem. It's not gonna come undone. Then all I have to do is go back with my ribbon scissors and give them a trim. And just like that, our birthday card is complete. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this card. As you saw, it goes together in minutes as long as you have the right supplies. So in the description of the video below is gonna have a link to where you can find all the supplies as well as get them ordered. Again, I'm Meg from iTeach Stamping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.